Today we are going to doing what? What are we doing? Blow stuff up. Blowing stuff up. All right. So I need you guys to get really excited. Get really loud. Ready? Go. Yeah. yeah! Mr. Hames here. It's a beautiful, balmy December morning, and today we are exploring the element sodium. For 11 on the periodic table, chemical symbol capital N, little a, it's an alkali metal, which means it's extremely reactive. It has an outer electron in its outer shell, and that's what makes it uh, reactive. It wants to give that electron away. So anyway, some things about sodium before we get started. We are today going to be going down to that bucket right there, uh, which is filled with water. So what most people know about pure sodium is that uh, it reacts with a lot of things, but water creates a very exciting um, explosion when you put a lot of sodium in there. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> Uh, other things about sodium, it is soft, even though it's a metal. It's a soft, silvery white metal. It's an alkali metal. And while it's never found in nature, we think of sodium as being a part of other common molecules like sodium chloride, which is the common table salt. So believe it or not, we have this stuff in our kitchen. It is a very abundant element. So without further ado, here we go. Let's blow some stuff up. Here are the steps. Number one, remove the sodium from the beaker. Number two, place the sodium on the handle of the spoon or on the circular part. Step three, drop it in the water. Step four, run like a crazy person. Easy, now let's watch. that so anyway I'm not sure if you can see it but there's kind of a gray film inside that bucket and then there's some gray stuff all over here when sodium when we drop it in the water what happens is as it reacts with water Na plus H2O is going to give us products so our reactants are sodium and water our products what we get created or generated in the process is something called uh, sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide which is kind of a grayish powder which explains the color of the smoke that you see as a lot of those particles are going up into the air and then we do get H2 which is hydrogen gas is released in that as well you can't see that because the gas is invisible to our eyes but it's going up into the air that was science have a good day everybody